up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Today, me and Luna are going to do a reaction video to this YouTube video. It's titled, I owe about $90,000 in student loans. VOA Connect. $90,000 in student loans. Holy sh! When I graduated from my undergrad, I also owed $90,000 in student loan debt. I love watching debt videos. I think they're relatable. I think they're real. Most people aren't open about their debt. They don't like talking about their finances, but then you go online and then you see all the statistics of how much debt people owe. And then you realize that debt is such a huge problem in America and student loan debt. Student loan debt's really bad. So, you know, let's watch this together because $90,000 in student loans is a lot. Let's see what she's doing to fix this. Yeah, average loan of $30,000, that's correct. I've heard numerous hearings about student loan and student loan issues. They approach the issue from different angles, but somehow nothing gets done and nothing happens. So it's, it's frustrating. Something about the system is broken. What's broken about the system is that going to college is very expensive. What you get for the price you pay isn't worth it anymore. A couple decades ago, if you had a bachelor's, you were set because not that many people had bachelors. But now everyone has a bachelor's. It just seems unfair that even though, as I said, education seems to be the great equalizer, right now I just feel, it feels so unequal for me. With education being an equalizer, I understand the opportunities that you can get if you have a college degree, you know, if you have a bachelor's, master's, PhD, whatever, like, I think opportunities open themselves up to you. But let's see what she's doing to get herself out of the $90,000 that she owes. Maybe she's working multiple jobs. Maybe she's penny pinching and budgeting everything. All I wanted to do, I went to high school, I got good grades. I worked hard to get into a good college. I didn't fail out of college. I didn't party my way out of college. I just went there, got an education, made friends, made connections, did everything that they tell you to do by the book. The book is wrong. Going into $90,000 of student debt to have a job after graduation that doesn't even pay you well enough to pay off your debt. You have to like rethink everything that you're doing. But then it just cost me so much, so much money. And I'm not saying that I regret the education that I received because I don't, I, I think they were great years. But I feel like there has to be another way. There has to be a way where people like me don't have to suffer this much. When I'm coming home from work and, and seeing everybody kind of pass by, the families with their kids, I think about me and, and when that will be a possibility. That's another thing with student loans is that it delays everything in life that you want to do. Let's say if you want to be a homeowner, you can't really take out a mortgage if you have $90,000 of student debt. If you want to start a family, it will delay that because you won't be financially <laughs> you won't be financially secure enough to provide for a child. I am 27 years old and I still have 16 years to pay in my loans because I have the 20 year repayment plan which guarantees the lower payments. When you take out loans, there's an interest rate there. The compound interest adds up, way up the longer it takes for you to pay those loans off. If you sign up for the 20 year repayment plan, you're gonna be paying more money. Also marriage, you know, when will I get married? Having all this debt delays you from all these major key points, key points, all these major events in life. See, that's something I really relate to because I wanna settle down someday. And I know that if I didn't try to pay off my student loans early, that would just delay all of that. And I didn't want to worry about $90,000 of student debt, no. The only thing I want to worry about is if I could provide Luna the yard she deserves. 
because Luna needs a good backyard. So make sure to like this video, give it a thumbs up right now because it helps with the algorithm and Luna, Luna wants a backyard and friends. Me coming into like a situation with all of these loans would have an impact on my partner. So I would want to minimize that as much as possible whenever I decide to get married. And also kids, kids are expensive. So if I'm paying like a small mortgage in loans, then how can I afford kids? Do not pull out a mortgage if you have $90,000 of student loans. And that's not even what's on my mind right now. What's on my mind right now is more grad school. But if I Wait, what? You're gonna go to grad school? She said she's gonna go to grad school. Did I hear that right? I had to rewind that. And that's not even what's on my mind right now. What's on my mind right now is more grad school. Oh my God. Why would you go to grad school when you owe $90,000 of student loans? Grad school is expensive. Do not go to grad school if you have $90,000 of student loans. Your loans, because they have interest on them, they will be more than $90,000 for your undergrad loan. But if I think further ahead, then obviously all those fears creep in about now being able to do certain things that will be good for me and good for my family, like... Okay, well those fears should creep in because you'll be $90,000 of debt and then you have grad school debt if you go to grad school, which I don't even know. You're gonna be in the six-figure debt range. I owe about $90,000 in loans. I'm paying probably $850 as my monthly payment. That sounds about right. I graduated with $90,000 of debt. My minimum payment for both my private and public student loans were $1,000. $850, that sounds, that sounds about, about right. And um, that is about a little less than a third of my salary. $850 is a little less than a third of her salary. So let's calculate how much she makes in a month. She's bringing in $2,850 a month. $850 of that goes to her student loans, which means she has $2,000 left over. I mean, those earrings are nice, but they're for sure out of my budget. It's like $169 for a pair of earrings. That's too much, for sure. Everything is out of your budget. Here's the thing with debt and getting out of debt does not matter how much money you make. Everything should be out of your budget so that you could pay off your debt. Why even look at this? Why? What, why look at the earrings? I don't understand. The other piece is that I have about $35,000 that are under my name, but the bulk of my loans is under Parent Plus loans, which are under my mom's name. You did that to your mom? How could you do that to your mom? I hope, I hope you try to pay off the Parent PLUS loans first. In the time that I graduated college, my mom and, and my dad divorced. Well, their family income kind of split in half, so she's making like enough for herself, but she's not able to do more. There's also like she has all of these loans under her name, so her credit is maxed out. Her parents split. Her mom is basically living paycheck to paycheck. Her credit is maxed out, and she has the majority of the student loans under the mom's name, which means that her mom can't save. Her mom can't save any money. I often think about like, okay, you know, in two years, if she ever wants to buy a house, what would that mean for her? Wait, the mom doesn't even have a house. The mom wants to buy a house probably. Can't do that because she has all these student loans, these parent student loans under her name. Holy, wow. My loans have an impact in her ability to, to buy a house. I feel guilt that um, because of the type of education that I wanted to get and because of the school that I wanted to go to, you know, she could potentially face financial burdens because of that. She should feel guilty that she put her mom through that. 
Her mom is already facing financial burden. I kind of wish that this was not water. I wish that it was vodka because I need vodka to listen to this. I need to get drunk for this. This is a headache. Well, I feel awful. and It's horrible knowing that I'm not able to help my daughter with those uh, horrible loans. Parents just want the best for their children, so they do everything they can so that their children could have everything that they didn't have. You have to look at the financial standpoint that both of you are in. It's not looking good. I'm definitely not the only one in this, in this situation. People in the States owe about 1.5 trillion. A lot of people in America have tons of student loan debt and it's a huge problem. You can't rely on them being canceled. Just try to pay them off early. That's the only guaranteed way to get rid of student loans because you don't know, you don't know when that miracle is going to happen. If it ever happens. It's bigger than just me and me making quote unquote bad decisions. Even though this is the, the reality of things, in my heart I still think that young people, no matter what their background is, should be able to access the education that they want to access. Like, education should not be a bad thing. Like, me going to a good school should not be a bad thing. I agree with that. I feel like everyone deserves a good education and education should be affordable. I just can't feel sorry for her because she's not doing anything to get out of her situation. It didn't mention her working multiple jobs to try to get out of debt. She said that she was planning on going to graduate school. Since she's gonna go to graduate school, that's even like more debt. So then she's gonna be in the six figure debt range. Her mom's living paycheck to paycheck. Why are you doing that to your mom? And after looking at that entire situation, she was still going, she was still contemplating going to grad school. I can't. If you're watching this right now, this is what you should do. If there is one step that you should listen to, it's step one. So don't go to graduate school. Step two, you're gonna budget. You're gonna budget the living hell out of your income. And whatever extra you have, you're going to put that towards your student loans. Step three is make more money. You have to make more money and then just live off of the bare minimum so you can put all of that money towards your student debt. Your whole situation is messed up. So I just hope, I hope that you change it. I really, I really hope you do. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment and look at Luna. Luna's here to tell you guys to subscribe to your channel. She's probably really sleepy. I, I woke her up. She just wanted to be on my lap. Thanks for watching this video and I will see you guys next week. Bye!